Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. I recently purchased a used Diamond CP610 vertical antenna from a local ham. The CP610 is a rather unique vertical in that it is designed for use on 10 meters and 6 meters. This antenna has a fairly low profile given the thin 22 foot vertical radiator and the three slender horizontal radials. Despite this, after having erected it for field day in my backyard, I noticed it did stand out visually quite a bit. In an effort to keep my spouse happy and not alarm nosy neighbors, I decided to camouflage the antenna to reduce its visual impact. I recently had a week's vacation and with nowhere to go due to the COVID-19 restrictions, I decided to make a project out of painting the vertical to help it blend into the natural backdrop. Here is how I did it and how it all turned out. My first step was to go to Home Depot and pick up a 10 foot chain link fence rail for use as a mast for the vertical, which had been propped up for field day using two four foot military fiberglass mast sections. While at the store, I also scooped up some spray paint for the job. Rust-Oleum sells two colors that they describe as camouflage. One is similar to khaki and the other is a dull reddish shade. Note the paint in each camouflage shade can is in fact a single color. These cans do not spray a camouflage pattern. The camouflage label refers to the paint color being suitable for blending into a background. Reading the tiny type on the can, I was able to discern the need for a primer. Given this, I also picked up a can of flat black primer to go with the two camouflage colors. Once back home, I decided to start with the mast in case I made any mistakes. Better to have spoiled a $12 pole than an expensive antenna. I pulled out the Mr. Clean and gave the pole mast a good scrubbing to provide an unsoiled surface for the paint to work on. 20 minutes after Mr. Clean did his thing, the pole was dry. I applied an initial coat of the flat black primer. Per the manufacturer directions, I waited 20 minutes. After checking the pole to confirm the first coat was dry, I applied the second coat of primer. Another 20 minutes and the blazing heat had done its job. The pole was dry. I then sprayed the pole in a random fashion with each of the two camouflage paint colors. I've noticed in the past that my black jackite and spider beam poles do actually blend quite well with the trees in the ravine, so I only applied the camouflage colors sparingly. I discovered that the very best way to apply the contrasting camo paint was to maintain a minimum distance of 12 inches from the surface when applying. Applying the paint closer than that resulted in a solid blotch of color that did not look natural. Also, spraying while moving the can left a streak that did not fit my definition of forest random. Instead, lightly spraying a single shot gave a speckled appearance that looked more natural to me. Once I had given the pole a camo look, I left it to dry. I wasn't 100% happy with the look of the pole, so over the next couple of days, I applied more shots of the flat black primer and the two camouflage colors. I think the pole turned out pretty good. A few days later, it was time to tackle the antenna itself. I pulled the vertical radiator of the Diamond CP610 down and applied the primer only, just to see how it would look without camouflage. I intentionally did not paint the lower part of the pole to highlight the difference between the unpainted and painted parts of the antenna. I left it up in this condition for a few days, then took the vertical radiator down and applied the camo colors based upon the technique I learned while painting the mast. I then painted the radials flat black, but did not apply the camo color. No special reason for this decision, I just think the radials are slender enough that the camo effect is unnecessary.
here is what the results look like. This project was a test for me. I've just acquired a 05 10 through 40 meter ground plane antenna that I plan to put up in the backyard to replace the diamond, which will be brought down and kept ready for field deployment. Of course, I'm already planning to give the 05 antenna its own coat of camo paint. So what do you think? Do you like the results? Would you have done it any differently? If you have any comments or suggestions on this topic, please leave them below to help others who might be inspired to try this for themselves. Well, that's all for this time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 73 from Tracy, VE3TWM.